What up, everybody? Oh. <laughs> hey, 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 it's Friday, September 20th. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And for those of you, my old school friends, if you know Samantha Hubbard, I just want to give a quick shout out to me, Samantha Hubbard's birthday. So, <laughs> those of you that know Samantha Hubbard, we want to wish her a happy birthday today. So, anyway, yeah. <laughs> Danielle knows her. I know she's. <laughs> Look at her guys. But anyway. <laughs> yeah, so. Uh, anyway, uh, it's a good September 20th. Good day in the neighborhood. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We have a lot of exciting stuff going on uh, this weekend. Yeah. And, uh,. <laughs> And uh, so anyway, uh, today's going to be the high 84 and the low 64 and probably cloudy skies. And Saturday, 87 and the low 60. But the humidity is going to be around, so please, please stay hydrated. And always remember to check your car before you lock. <laughs> um, and uh, Sunday's going to be the high 87 again. But then the low 69, so, you know, summer's still trying to hold on to its grip. Yeah. For the weekend, anyway. Yeah. But then we have a storm system that comes in for the first part of the work Get week. Guess, guess. On Monday. 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 Shower, showers and thunderstorms, likely. But the temperatures will be around 78 mm. degrees. And lows will be in the <clears> mid <throat> to upper 50s. And cooler in the outline, or low line areas mm. of the region. But uh, the rest of the work week looks to be in mid to upper 70s, lows to mid to upper 50s. So, um, you know, perfect time to save your energy bill by uh, opening the windows before you go to bed. So, yeah. Anyway, that's the weather for you guys. And uh, this weekend, as usual, we have the Oktoberfest, which is today through Sunday. Yeah. They have extended the hours, so it's from uh, 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. tonight, tomorrow, 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. on Sunday, and also they're doing the chicken dance tonight at 5 p.m. <laughs> you, you all get the gist of it, but uh, it's going to be done by the largest audience that they said they've had in the study history of Oktoberfest. And there's going to be a lot of new foods too, and they're going to have 31 types of beer there, so. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so it's going to be a grand time, and uh, it's going to be between the 2nd and 3rd Street. So, those streets will be closed off for the festivity. Um, so those of you that live out there, I would look for an alternative route unless you're going to the festival. Um, however, I did not hear if it cost anything, so you might have to see the website for details or you can ask once you get down there. Um, so anyway, there's that event going on. And uh, the other event we have is the... The comic, uh, we have the, something with the comic event at the Duke Energy Convention Center this weekend. Um, this morning the door opens at 10, but then the weekend it opens at 3 p.m. And it's, uh, it's something to do with the comic, so, uh, you know, you can always check out the website for further details about more of the event and um, I just want to say to you guys you know it's going to be a great weekend but uh, if you do go to the festivities of the Oktoberfest please stay hydrated and uh, yeah so anyway guys it's going to be a grand time and um, just to let you all know too before I pass it back to Leanne if you guys are familiar with Channel 9, I'm going to probably be going there Tuesday morning. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I'll tell them that you guys said hi. Anyway, that's it for now. Back to the end. Love you guys.
your schedule of LC Cincinnati at Chicago at on September 20th at 7.30. Right. <coughs> Coming up for LC Cincinnati to be at home September 29th versus Oakland, Orlando City at 5 p.m. Baseball schedule. Mm. Yesterday, Reds are was off. Now they play the Mets at 7:30. Mm. Tomorrow they play the Mets. Um, Mets again at 4:10. And mm. again at 1:10 versus the Mets. Coming up for the Reds, they will be home for three games versus. The Brewers on September 24th and 25th mm. at 6.40 and 12.05. Mm. Football schedule, Sunday Bengals will be at Buffalo at, at 1 o'clock. And coming up for the Bengals will be away, away for Steelers at 8.50 on September 30th. Usually, mm -hmm. our cats are on a bye. And coming up for the bear cats will be Marshall. It will be Marshall at five, 5 o'clock on Saturday. What up for Fort Yeah. 
27, going to be 28 this year. We're getting up there. We're getting up there. <laughs> <laughs> I'm excited. Now on to join the questions. We have ten questions here for you uh, to ask you. Um, can you tell us what you do for a laughing? Yes, I am the executive director at, at the Metropolitan mm. Club. So my job is to really just get out and talk about the Metropolitan Policy Club, tell the story of the club. What uh, a lot of people might not know is that we share a lot of our yearly practice with nonprofits. So there's a lot of good work that goes on there. So uh, I'm trying to build awareness and membership and our members that are currently there engaged in our events and programs. Oh, well, thank you. year to year, but 70 percent, so most of our bottom line profits go back to nonprofits in the community. And I think a lot of people do not know that about the mental health. That's a great question. Since our founding in 1991, which was yeah, the year you were born, yes, yes, since 1991, the club has been open to anyone who wants to join. And that was kind of unusual back then because there were a lot of men only clubs, but they were very forward thinking in 1991 to allow women, minorities, anyone in the community that wanted to join. And it's still the same way today. Anyone can join in that club. Okay, let's go. Do you uh, have to be?
straw would be cartoons or oh. caricatures of people. Can I show you some? Yeah. Oh, I got ahead. Oh, God. So these are some cartoons, recent cartoons that I've done uh, that were published in the Business Courier. So we all know about the Groundhog, Groundhog Day. Yes. Yes. That's typically in February when people are getting the flu and being feeling sick and so forth. So what does a groundhog say? It's going to be six more weeks of So in this one, he's got a face mask on to protect him from germs, and he says, six more weeks of the flu season. <laughs> Oh, 
very fortunate to have opportunities to do some freelance work for the Cincinnati Enquirer and the Cincinnati Post when that was still around, and uh, other publications that are long gone, like the Downtowner newspaper. So uh, before, after college, but before I started the business career, I just looked for those kind of opportunities to get to get a lot of practice drawing, but also to get published. Oh, well, that's nice. Who was your um, coach? Well, I had a lot of people in my life that helped me out. My uh, my high school art teacher, Robert Beeman, was very instrumental in, in uh, my progression. He was a great guy. He is a great guy. And then uh, most of you might remember Jim Borgman, who was the coach of the Empire. Uh, he was a great mentor of mine as well. What was his name again? Jim Borgman. Oh. Oh. Let me ask you another question. Uh, um, well, uh, you know, how long does it take for a cartoon to get in the newspaper? It's uh, for a weekly publication. I would have to submit the cartoon about three days prior to it being printed. Um, and each cartoon takes about two hours, two to three hours to draw. Okay, good. <laughs> and so. <laughs> Now, now, Martin Christian says, what is your favorite piece and of art that you've ever done? My favorite piece of art I've ever done? I don't think I've drawn it yet. <laughs> and, uh, I'm I think, I think this is one of my favorites, this girl right here. This took about three hours to go. That, that's one of my favorites. Oh, me!